can feel it already. We are arriving in Joan of Arc's hometown. So this is an exciting day for me. I am back in France today at an incredible location and I had to come back here because something happened the last time I was here and it made me come back. I had this urge to come back for a long time now. So I haven't been here in two years. But where I am is the home of Joan of Arc. This was her birthplace home. This is where she grew up, right here. And we're in her town, Dom Reme. And this is the church that's next to her home. And right here, in front of her, the church, is where Joan of Arc spoke with the Archangel Michael. Right here. It's absolutely incredible and the church is right behind this garden this was Joan of Arc's father's garden and she kissed the ground where the archangel stood and that's the archangel the angel of angels was right here and something actually happened to me inside the church and I'm gonna go into the church in a moment What happened is, the last time I was here, when I was inside the church, I touched the font where Joan of Arc was baptized inside the church. Now, I had a surgery a couple of days later, and I was really nervous, and it was a serious surgery, not, not just a basic surgery, it was very serious. And, and it, it was so complex that I was scared of having the surgery at all. But I went and had the surgery, and I prayed inside of the church here, and I touched the baptismal font. I'm even nervous being back here, just thinking about it. And the surgery was a profound success. It was so successful that I, I don't want to go into uh, too much of a description, but I was supposed to have a second surgery after it. But the first surgery was so successful, so successful, that I didn't need to have a second surgery. And that was two years ago, and I have had not had another surgery, and it's still perfectly fine. I'm not gonna go into the details of what the surgery was for, but let me tell you, it was very serious. And it was very dangerous. So, wow, I am just so happy. Okay, so now I'm gonna go inside. So this was the main room with the fireplace. We have a beautiful statue, Joan of Arc right there. Joan of Arc was said to be incredibly beautiful. And although she was a peasant girl with no schooling, she was considered to be incredibly intelligent. So it is possible that she was a prodigy, meaning that she was incredibly intelligent and she was far more advanced than everyone else no. in the town. So this were the boys' rooms. Oh, I got the word no. Are you, am I, was she not more advanced than everyone in the town? Or was it simply the gifts from God that made her so knowledgeable? So there is speculation that after the age of 13, she became incredibly knowledgeable about the world and started sharing that when she became 16. So 
this is said to be the girl's room. So she was not a prodigy, if that's what my word app is trying to say. When I said prodigy, I said no. Now, when I was in this room last time, I got, oh, I just got the word prepare. Prepare for what? So the last time I was here, I got the word fire when I was inside here. And we all know how Joan of Arc died. So what did you want me to... I just got this weird light on the... It shined on my camera from behind. I just got a really cool breeze come over me. And there's no reason for that. I was just shooting a, a piece to go through to shoot the whole home. And I went into this room right here and I got this cool, cool breeze overcome me. And it was really incredible. It just, wow. And it was, it was cold, but it was comfortable. I mean, wow. I think I've just had an experience. I'm just overwhelmed right now. I love this place. I'll probably be coming back here many, many times as often as I can over the years. It's a long way to come, but it's so worth it. So, and then I guess the parents' rooms must have been upstairs, and I cannot go up. Unfortunately, I wish I could. But unfortunately, I cannot go up there. Okay, what? Wow, this home is so beautiful and it's been maintained for over 600 years. I believe they do have the original door somewhere. I'm gonna check on that. So right here was the garden as we just talked about a moment ago. But what's, uh, what a lot of people do not know about this, not only did she speak to the angel here, but between the church and her home, which isn't a lot of distance, there was a cemetery. Because at her trial, she described where she spoke to the Archangel Michael was in her father's garden, between her home, the garden, the cemetery, and the church. So the cemetery is not here anymore. Or rather, the gravestones are not here anymore. Because there was times when they would move graves, and not always, well, moved gravestones are grave markers, but not always the graves themselves. Unfortunately, that's a lot of speculation because nobody knows. So that's the church right there. And I'm walking around her house now. It's a very small house if you think about it. For that time, it, it, it's, a, a, it's a pretty good sized house. And she had several brothers and sister, so she wasn't an only child as some believe. Now here's another part that with the last time I was here, because I wasn't aware of exactly where she spoke to Archangel Michael, I imagine this was it. Of course, no one knows exactly, only from her trial and where she described talking to the Archangel Michael is how people know. So it could have been right here as well. Anywhere in this vicinity is where she spoke to the Archangel Michael. And as you know, Archangel Michael is the angel of angels. So she wasn't talking to I mean, it's hard to imagine me saying that, but any angel, she was talking to the Archangel Michael. And the knowledge she had was impossible for a peasant girl of that time. Not even thinking about or speaking about what she actually eventually accomplished 
and the prophecies she foretold that came true, which as I mentioned before, are all the prophecies that she foretold. So this is the back of her house, right here. They've also built a museum on her behalf, right over there. Now there were other houses here. The only remaining houses from 600 years ago are the church and her house that is maintained by France. So I'm gonna walk back into the front. Oh, I just got the word go. Go where? Do you want me to leave? Or do you want me to go to the church? Because that's where I'm going next. Okay, here's a statue. Now, here they have found foundations to other buildings. So right here where we're standing were other buildings back in her time. 600 years ago so there's this was their land right over there in the front of the house and then right where we're standing here were other houses and a farm so I believe where I'm walking now was a farm so this they have erected on her behalf Joan of Arc Oh, I just got to work, so I'm going to check what it said. Oh, my goodness. I got the word fire again. If anyone that watched my previous video, you'll know that I got the word fire last time as well. Now, over there on the hill is a church, Basilica, that they built on behalf of Joan of Arc in her memory. Wow, I gotta tell you, I just have such an extraordinary feeling again, standing here. And it's, it's a feeling of awe. Wow, I'm so lucky with the weather. It was supposed to be storming and rainy, and it was as I drove here, it was like, I was occupying and everything. It was so, the storm was so violent. And then I get here and look, the sun is just bright and it's beautiful. And man, how fortunate is that? Can't complain, can I? I'm just like really fortunate. Okay, so coming up on the church now. So I'm gonna turn this around and give you a view we're walking now the church and the has changed a little bit and where we're walking right now this was a cemetery so there was a cemetery according to Joan of Arc's own words at her trial there was a cemetery right here between the church and her father's garden which would be right here so and that's how they know where she spoke to the Archangel Michael because that's what she stated at her trial where she was condemned to death and we're gonna go inside let's go inside first word I got as I walked in was seldom, meaning I do not come here very often. It's very seldom. I wish I could come here more often. How incredible is that?
So the church is very small, but you can imagine for the community at that time, it was actually rather large. Oh wow, this is fresh. These flowers are fresh. The linen. So you can see it's well kept as it should be. I'm getting words like my device is going better. My device is really <laughs> giving a lot of words since I walked in here. Okay, so the light being in here is flickering a little bit. I apologize for that. So this is the font. So as I was saying, last time I was here, but as I was saying, the last time I was here, I touched the font and I'm touching it now again. And my surgery went flawless, better than expected. Wow, that's incredible. I don't know how well you can hear the bells of the church. Oh my goodness. Okay, so as I was saying, this is the farm where Joan of Arc was baptized, right here. As I touch it, the bells go off again. The bells normally don't go off twice in a row like that. So I wonder if that has to do with the fact that I just touched the font again. So as I told you, they're going off again. Oh God. Oh my, that's like really, Incredible. I wonder if the church is celebrating my return or something. I mean, the bells are going again. This has never happened before. And I've never gotten so many words. I, it's all happening so fast. Here. Yes, I'm here. Thank you for helping me with my surgery the last time I was here. Thank you so much. I just got chills. The bells aren't stopping. really astonishing me. I don't know why, so I want to get the GoPro and I'm going to do a walk around while this camera continues. Because I want to document this. I have never heard the bells go off that many times ever this long. And the last time I was here, I spent the entire day I guess that had to do with the fact I was so nervous that two days from then I was going to have to have that surgery. So while visiting, I stayed a very long time. I was just that nervous. And I'm getting really emotional at the end now. This is this has never happened before at the 
Thousands have continued like this. I mean, it was a short, it was just as I touched the font that they started. Okay, so I'm gonna walk through. So this right here is the holy water. It is smoothed by the hands of the faithful since the 8th century. I just want to say thank you for having me. Thank you for what's nothing less than a miracle in my life. Wow, the light suddenly is very bright for me. So I want to say thank you for everything as I leave Joan of Arc's hometown. It's just been amazing. And I know I'll be back, at least I hope so. It's just incredible every time I come here. If you're watching this, believe me, if you come to France, do yourself a favor, come here. It's one of the holiest places on earth and you can do no wrong by coming here.